Hello everyone and welcome to Flying Ants Academy. In this video, we will be talking about how to install and configure a compiler and an editor. So both of them separately. It's not an ID, it will be a different editor and it will be a compiler. So if you want to work in this way, if you, if you have a Windows platform and if you want to install the compiler separately and an editor separately to write your code. So we will be using VI editor and the compiler would be MinGW compiler which has been provided for Windows. So let's hop in. Okay, so we'll just type MinGW on Google and click on the first link that we get. We'll get this page for MinGW or the link is MinGW.org. You can directly open this page. We'll go to downloads over there, click on it, and then we'll get this uh, setup.exe. We'll just click on this setup.exe and we'll wait for a while and the file will pop up. Go to click save file. So it's a pretty small installer. We'll just click on install once it's installed. And leave everything at default. The default directory should be cmingw, and the rest of thing should be default. So cmingw is the default directory. Keep everything else as default. Don't to change anything. Click on continue. And now we'll wait for it to finish. Of course, we'll connect to the internet, and we'll take some time. By the time it is done, so we'll just wait. Okay. So now the setup is complete. We'll click on continue. And open what we have installed. So this is where we will select which MinGW components to install. We'll pay close attention to it and we'll select MinGW base bin, the second thing from the list. So select MinGW base bin, click it, mark for installation. No need to check anything else. We don't require any external components. This is the basic or the minimum requirement to compile C programs. MinGW is nothing but GCC wrapped up so it can be executed in Windows. So we'll select this. Then we'll click on installation and apply changes. Again, select MinGW base bin or something else. Installation, apply changes. We'll click on apply. Yes, now again it will connect to the internet and it will take some time. So I'll be back once the installation or once the downloading is complete. Cool. So now you can see now that uh, MinGW is downloaded completely. We have installed it. We'll close it. Okay, so now just to test it, we'll just open the C drive and see. Okay, we have a folder name as MinGW over here, right over there. We'll double click it. We'll see what is inside it. So we have all the folders again. Bin, include, lib and stuff. We'll click on bin. But just to check, there's nothing important. We just see that it has been installed correctly. Okay, so we'll open Windows command prompt and we'll check GCC hyphen V and see. But Oh, so it says GCC is not recognized as an internal external command. That means it does it, it did not find GCC command, but we just installed GCC, right? It should be working. So why doesn't it work when we're typing it from the command prompt to execute GCC hyphen V? It should tell us which version of GCC is installed. So to fix this, uh, we will actually go to and set up environment variables. We'll go to this PC, properties, advanced system settings, environment variables. Once again, we'll, this PC, right click properties, advanced system settings and environment variables. We'll click over here. We'll go to system variables, click on path. Okay, system variables, click on path. We'll go and edit it. So we'll click on new, we'll browse, and we'll select the installation of MinGW. So C, MinGW, right, and then bin. And okay. So this is what should be present. C slash mingw slash bin. So this is the path where we have just installed mingw and inside the bin folder. This path has to be mentioned in environment variables. Okay, okay, and okay. So this is done. We'll close this command prompt and we will open a command prompt again from uh, the start menu, command prompt. And now we will again check for gcc hyphen v. And see, now this, is showing proper. This is showing us the version of version of GCC installed, and this is what we expected. So what Windows does is when you run any command from command prompt, it checks some predefined folders for those commands. So GCC command was inside C mingw bin, which was set from environment variables. So that is why it was not working previously because this was not set. Now since we have gone there and set the path of C mingw and bin, now when we execute this command, it searches also that directory and it is executed. Okay, so we'll just type VIM in the Google search and we'll get an entry. So we'll just click on download in the first entry. 
we get to this page we will select self installing executable we will click on save file and we will wait till the download is complete so once the download is done you will get a uh, file over here gvim32.exe we will just double click and open it this is the installer file we will just click on yes ok next accept the agreement next keep everything at default no need to change anything click on next again just keep everything at default nothing next and install we'll wait for a while this won't take a lot of time uh, maybe just uh, a minute or so so it's going to install everything it's a very handy editor for everyone to use uh, i've been using it for a long time so we see that vm is installed we'll click on finish and voila so we have this working over here and so that's it i think you have configured mingw as a compiler and we've also installed gvim as an editor so let's see in the next video how to use it now to use it to write our c programs